Hi everyone, I'm Modern Mulan. Happy 2022! As my New Year gift to all of you to thank you for all the love and support that you have given me and our little channel. So I will be giving in sa isa sa mga requested videos ninyo, which is a crypto portfolio reveal. Very exciting tung video na to kasi magne-name drop tayo ng mga specific projects na hawak natin at mga binabantayan natin. Ipapakita ko rin sa inyo kung ilang percentage sila sa total portfolio allocation natin for crypto. For this video, so yung papakita natin, ang basis muna natin dito is yung puhunan na linabas or linagay natin sa kanila. Hindi muna yung ROI and hindi rin muna yung current value nila sa market. So, solely yung puhunan lang natin. If you've been watching our channel for a while, so you know na may mga kinover na tayong projects wherein uh, mas madali nyo matatrack lahat ng crypto investments ninyo. So, ilalagay ko yan dito, ililink natin yan dyan and sa description box just in case interested kayo to track all of your investments. Pero dahil nga for this video, ipapakita lang natin yung percentage na hawak natin for certain projects at hindi yung actual value nila, um, gagamitin muna natin yung ating Excel sheet. Okay, now before we start, meron munang tatlong very very important things that you need to know before we start. Number one, all of the projects na babanggitin natin are those that work for me, that work for my strategy, my goals, and my risk appetite. Number two, my portfolio po is very dynamic. So it changes on average mga five days. So may mga nadadagdagan, may mga nababawasan. And the one that I will be showing you is yung pinaka-updated natin as of December 30, 2021. Number three, this is in no way financial advice, not financial advice po. So I am not asking you or forcing or persuading you to invest in these. Just share ko lang yung mga sa akin and along the way, I'll be sharing with you experiences as well. So, nagkukwento lang ako at hindi po ako nagbibigay ng advice. Ngayon, that's out of the way. Let's start. Let me show you my crypto portfolio. So, eto naka-divide yan into three. Here's our current Excel sheet. So, makikita nyo sa baba na meron tayo ng summary which I'm showing you now. Meron din tayo for NFT, Playter and Games which I will be showing you later. Tapos yung complete, yung ROI, and yung vesting schedule ng mga tokens natin. So mamaya, I'll expound on these pero hindi natin sila ipapakita. So ito yung summary. Uh, makikita nyo na yung ating portfolio is mainly divided into three. Um, this could be further divided into many parts pa pero for simplicity reasons para lang mas madali kong matrack. Ayan. At saka dahil ako lang naman talaga yung nakakita nito um, on most days, ganito yung pinili ko. So we have for stable coins, meron tayo for trading, and then meron tayo for NFT and yung plate earn tokens na pinagsama natin. So 17% ng portfolio natin is for stable coins. And then another 17% is for trading. And then your NFT play to earn tokens is 65.99%. Like I mentioned, this was noong December 30, 2021. So the reason why we have stable coins, kung hindi kayo familiar, um, ito yung USDT, BUSD, USDC, ayan, mga ganon. So the reason why we have stable coins is ito yung ginagamit natin or ito yung pondo natin para sa mga future investments. So halimbawa, merong bagong project na sa tingin natin ay maganda yung potential or may mga coins na maganda yung potential, dito yung pinangkukuhanan natin ng puhunan. So, hindi tayo kumukurot sa savings natin. Dito tayo, meron talaga tayong investment fund in the form of stable coins. Like I mentioned, December 30, 2021, tayo nag-update na itong listahan natin. And pinantay ko talaga sila Sinadya natin to. So before, medyo ubus na tong stable coins funds natin. Nagdagdag na lang tayo. Because we are anticipating na sa 2022, so this year, may mga projects pa na gusto nating pasukan at investan. So ayan, sa trading naman, 17% din to. Now, this is separate pa sa ating hodl bag. What I'm showing you is yung pang short to midterm na investment natin. As you know, sa mga nakukwento natin sa trading videos, which you can check out here, um, I told you na mostly focused ako ngayon sa mga day trade, swing trade, ayan, mga scalp trades especially, to grow our portfolio. So, yun, mga ano lang yun eh, mga purpose talaga ng mga ganong klaseng trades is short to midterm goals muna sila. So, ayun, 17% for our trading portfolio. 
Now, for this one, um, madaling nagpa-fluctuate to, like we mentioned, dynamic nga yung portfolio natin. Dahil um, yung mga nakukuha natin dito, halimbawa nag-USDT na sila or nag-take profit na tayo, lumilipat yan sa stablecoins for future funding. Either babalik yan into trading or ipopondo na natin sa NFT or play-to-earn tokens. Depende yan sa galaw ng market kung alin sa tingin natin yung mas profitable. We follow kung saan um, may mabilis na return of investment kasi yun yung purpose ng specific na portfolio natin nito. Now that you've seen the summary, let's go into detail yung mga NFT and play to earn games. I've been getting a lot of questions from you guys kung ano pa yung mga hawak ko and we're finally revealing them. Alam nyo naman na lahat ng projects na kinocover natin sa ating channel, whether sponsored yan or hindi, we actually invest in or may plan tayo in investing in. Like may hinihintay lang tayo announcement from them, listing, ganyan, bago tayo mag-invest. But nonetheless, we do believe in them. Uh, you see na sa list tahan natin before I show it to you baka bago kayo magkaroon ng questions so you'll see na some of the projects we've covered before ay wala na sa listahan na to. So, that's just probably because nag-take profit na tayo or we're just waiting for another dip bago tayo makapag-enter ulit. Siguro in a separate video if you guys are interested, gagawa tayo ng video sa mga projects na tinitignan natin and kailan natin balak uh, pumasok. So, let me know in the comment section if you want to see that. Pero yun, napakahaba na masyado ng ating novela o ng intro for the NFT Playtorian Games. So, now let me just show you kung ano yung mga hawak natin na project. So, yeah. We currently have 36 projects na binabantayan natin. So, yung iba dito, NFT yung mga yan, yung iba, token yung hawak natin kasi we are trading them. So, sasabihin ko rin sa inyo kung alin yung mga tinitrade natin, kung alin yung mga nakastake din natin. So, sa 36 projects na yon, yung may pinakamalaki is, of course, Axie Infinity. It has 25.01%. This is because, alam nyo naman, na tuloy-tuloy tayong naghahanap ng scholars at nagdadagdag na NFTs natin. So, there's also a certain percentage, a large percentage na mga earnings natin na rinireinvest natin pabalik sa Axie Infinity. Now, if you're interested in becoming a scholar, you should follow us on Facebook and Instagram, even TikTok. So, dun tayo nag update whenever we're looking for new scholars. Now, yung next na may malaking percentage natin is Monsta Infinite, which has 5.10%. So, ever since nag-start naman yung Monsta Infinite, we've been mentioning na may plans din tayo for scholarship dito. Ngayon, um, we're expecting this to go higher, tong percentage na to, kapag na-release na yung kanilang gameplay. I also have exciting videos lined up regarding Monsta Infinite for all of you. I'm just waiting for the actual game play. So, I think kasi mas maganda at mas exciting pag-usapan yung game kapag nakikita na natin sila. And, iba rin kasi kapag binabasa lang natin yung white paper versus pag ayun nga, pag nakikita na at pag nasasample na natin. Now, the next one is 2.98% and that goes for Sol Chicks. Now, yung Chicks token, I do have a substantial amount of Chicks token. So, meron tayong hodl bag. 50% ng hawak natin for hodl lang. And then 50% we actively trade. The next one is for the parallel. The, we have 2.55% para sa project na to. I really believe in this project. Although, I know many of you hindi bet ito because of the Vietnamese developers. Pero, ayan, do whatever works for you nga. Like I said, itong portfolio natin is what works for my goals and for my risk appetite. So, kung hindi okay sa inyo yung mga projects na nakikita nyo, don't feel pressured or wag kayo ma-FOMO na bumili rin kayo. But, ayan, I have 2.55% of my portfolio dedicated sa The Parallel. Ayan. Now, another 2.55% is for The Last Horde. Now, for The Last Horde, yung Horde token natin, nakastake yung mga yan. So, if you're invested in The Last Horde and hindi nyo alam na pwede na pong mag-stake, napakaganda ng APY nila napakataas. Ilalagay ko yan sa description box uh, kung interested kayo. So, merong lock period yung mga to. May option for 5, 15, and 30 days. Tapos, ang alam ko, 300% for 5 days APY. Tapos, 350 for 15 days and then 400 for 30 days. But you can check that again. Again, ilalagay ko yan sa description box just in case na interested kayo. Or, meron kayong mga horror tokens na gusto nyo ring i-stake. 
Now, for bangers, ito yung next natin, 2.13%. Ito, nag-participate tayo sa private sale. So, wala pa siya. Um, I'll be covering this soon sa March yung kanyang TGE, if I'm not mistaken. So, we'll be covering that very, very soon. I am bullish sa project na to and I'm really excited sa March. Sana magbunga talaga siya at nungipad siya dahil birth month natin ng March at sana hindi niya tayo i-fail. Ayan, we have 2.13% nga for this one. Next is plunge pad. So, another token na naka stake, meron siyang 1.91% ng ating portfolio. Now, yung next na projects na hawak natin, they have 1.7% each sa portfolio natin. And those are wham.app and shopnext. So, kung hindi nyo pa napapanood yung mga yan, ililink ko rin yan sa description box. And ito yung wham.app and then, ito naman yung shop next. Ayan. So, you can watch those later on. Itong wham.app, uh, bibigyan ko kayo ng pahapyaw. Uh, ito yung hyper casual game. So, alam ko na napakalaki ng market for this one. Yung mga current na hyper casual games ngayon kasi sa market, uh, libre yung mga yan. So, hindi ka kumikita sa kanila and sometimes gumagastos ka pa. So, yung concept of earning while playing these hyper casual games, I think, yun na yung mga makikita rin natin the future. That's why I invested in wham.app and meron nga siyang price na nakuha diba? so naging outstanding siya most innovative um, app if I'm not mistaken now yung next natin is shop next ito yung parang cashback which I know you're familiar with but instead of receiving cashback ang makukuha mong rewards for shopping ay cryptocurrency which I love uh, meron tayong 1.7% dyan mukhang maliit to sa portfolio natin but yung ininvest natin is medyo malaki dito dahil compared lang sa Axe Infinity na malaki yung ano natin dyan mga assets natin. So, nagumukha lang sila maliit. Next is Crypto Peace. So, we've recently made a video covering Crypto Peace. 1.63% yung hawak natin dito. So, for this one, linalaro ko to. NFTs yung hawak natin dito. So, hindi pa naka-include nga dito yung ROI natin and belly tokens na nakuha natin for this one. I know some of you commented na allergic na kayo sa mga projects sa may crypto sa unahan because of their predecessors, di ba? Uh, yung Crypto Blades. Ayan, they didn't farewell or hindi sila nagtatagal. But for these types of projects, kasi alam naman natin na malaki yung community na mahilig sa mga click to earn. So, maganda na nakakauna kayo sa mga ganito at kapag nakakuha na kayo ng kanilang mga token, ay dahan-dahan na kayo nag-take profit. So, that's what I'm doing in these types of games. But again, of course, only invest in what you can afford to lose. Yung tipo na kapag nawala yan bukas, makakatulog pa rin kayo. But with Crypto Peace, um, so far, maganda naman. And this February, meron silang malaki announcement. So, meron tayong konting belly bag, yung kanilang token. Hoping that sa February pag nag-announce na sila ay magkaroon tayo ng pump and then will be um, taking profits doon. Now, for Samurai Rising, NFTs po ang hawak natin dito. We have 1.28% for this, kagaya na sa Kuwakamu and Titan Hunters. Titan Hunters then is also a project na I am excited about. Uh, napakaganda nito and I think marami talaga mag enjoy dito. If you haven't seen our video on this yet. I-link ko rin yan dito. And makikita nyo doon na nag-enjoy talaga ako personally dun sa um, beta test nila. So, I'm excited about this one. Now, for Crypto Gods, we made two videos on this sa mga um, nakasakay nung first video natin. Again, congratulations sa inyo. I am still holding a bag for Crypto Gods, yung Gods token. Meron tayong 0.85%. Same with Rhythm. Tank War, Script TV, Space Crypto, Nextverse, Atlantis, Dragon War, Ycrypt, Loa, Metaspatial, and Aspo World. Okay, so isa-isahin natin yung mga projects na yun. Let me just give quick insights. For Rhythm, ito yung parang Spotify, pero crypto-related or crypto-integrated project siya. Tank Wars, ayan, so maganda rin to. Script TV, ito yung manunood ka ng mga videos and then makaka-earn ka ng crypto. Tapos, Space Crypto. Ito actually, gusto ko na medyo malaki sana yung percentage ko dito. Now, next verse. Ito, maganda rin tong project na to. Um, I am on the lookout for this one. Atlantis, we've already covered this then So, ililink ko rin yan dito. Dragon War din. Um, yun nga, we have 0.85%. White Crypt, we also have a video on wherein maglilend ka or magpapahiram, pagpaparenta ka ng inyong Wi-Fi. Maybe we can create an additional video dito regarding its security kasi marami nagtanong sa inyo about it. Siguro in the near future, schedule natin yan. Now, for Loa, hindi ko napansin. Ngayon lang na nakahiwalay pala sila. So, i-ano na lang natin. I-compute natin kung magkano yung total na hawak talaga natin. Ayan, so we have 1.38 
38% for LOA. Now, hindi pa naka-include dito yung NFTs na nabili natin for their pre-sale. Ito pa lang yung LOA tokens na naka-stake. So again, 1.38% yan. Tapos, Meta Spatial, we have 0.85%. We've covered this. As per world, so gagawa tayo ng... Um, update dito dahil lumabas na yung kanilang beta testing. I'm excited for you guys to see that. So, sobrang bullish ko din talaga sa Aspo World. Um, I hope po kayo ma-FOMO. Pinipigil ako yung sarili ko na sabihin yung mga personal ano ko na, kunwari, bullish ako dito, ganyan, kasi ayaw ko ma-FOMO kayo. Pero yun nga, um, I really like Aspo World and we'll be doing an updated video regarding this one. Afin naman, pre-sale tayo dito. So, 0.53% ang ating allocation for Afin. And then, sa cart racing lead, 0.51%. Now, ito lang yung tokens na hawak natin. Tapos, we're expecting a lot more NFTs to come. Dahil nga, if you've seen our recent videos or you've seen our previous videos for cart racing league, I, we are in partnership with a development team. We're in nakipag-negotiate tayo ng mga scholars with them. If you're interested in this or nag-apply kayo and you want Kart Racing League updates, meron po tayong Facebook page which I will link sa description box. Ang pangalan niya is Kart Racing League PH tapos meron siyang um, Philippine flag. So yon pwede kayo mag-request to join doon and then i-add ko po kayo. Nung first time lumabas ang KRL, sobrang excited ko talaga kasi ito yung mga tipo ng games na kinalakihan ko, yung mga racing, racing, ganyan. But nung nag karon lang ng issue we're in multiple times na the delay diba sabi dapat november meron na yung mga nfts bigla naging december etc etc so medyo manage ko na yung expectation ko for this one and i also informed yung mga scholars natin na i-manage muna expectations dahil nga since start up sila and they're still very early sa development process ayan nagkakaroon ng mga adjustments although uh, hindi naman for for some red flag yon diba but i think it's very natural naman even with Axie Infinity na pioneer and yung parang giant sa lahat ng NFT player in games, so nakikita, nakakita rin tayo ng delay sa kanya. So what more sa mga startups, ba? Diba? So we're giving them space to grow. Siguro ayun lang talaga. But again, we're still managing our expectations dahil nga bago pa lang din sila and nagkakaroon na ng mga delays. But if all goes well sa kanilang um, NFT distribution, we can also expect that along with Monster Infinite ay lalaki yung percentage neto sa ating portfolio. Next is Star Sharks. It has 0.43% ang ating portfolio. We'll be covering this din soon. So abang lang kayo sa video natin regarding this one. Next is Sire with um, 0.43% din pati yung Kitsumo and Battle Saga. Now, Battle Saga kagaya to ng Space Script so, na gusto ko sana ng mas malaking allocation. But we only had 0.43% for this one. Ayan. Next is Firework Games. So, same lang na allocation. And then, Spacey 2025. Ito talaga, um, so with Space Crypto, Battle Saga, and Spacey 2025, tsaka Loa pala. So, yan yung mga projects na gusto ko na malaki sana yung allocation na makukuha natin. But, ayun nga, very limited lang yung nakuha natin dahil nga pinag-aagawan, mabenta sila. Pero happy na rin naman ako sa nakuha natin yung percentage. Now, for Spacey 2025, konti lang yung total token supply neto. Nagkaroon sila ng issue previously wherein na-hack sila yung mga token sila. But I'm still hopeful and bullish on this one. Now, next natin with 0.42% is L2 pad. And then we also have Geopoly. So ito yung lowest natin. For all of the projects na we're holding, we have 0.17%. So there you go. Ito yung mga currently hawak natin na tokens sa mga play to earn games. Again, if you want a video regarding yung separate watch list natin, yung mga babantayin natin or papasukan pa lang na games, let me know in the comment section. Gagawin natin yan for you. Now, I'm interested to know kung ano yung mga hawak nyo na games. Meron ba kayong mga games na pareho tayo ng hawak or ano yung mga wala kayo or ano yung games na tinitignan nyo rin or binabantay Ninyo. Comment nyo lahat yan so we can start healthy conversations regarding crypto at magtulungan tayo maghanap ng mga magagandang projects. If you want to keep watching crypto-related videos, kung merong pumukaw ng damdamin ninyo sa mga projects na na-mention natin and you want to watch 
specific videos regarding them. So, meron tayo niyan sa ating channel. Again, uh, most of them nilagay natin sa taas. So, nakalink yung mga yan and sa description box. But, you can go directly sa channel natin. Subscribe na kayo while you're there. And then, look for videos na kailangan ninyo. And hopefully, makatulong yan sa inyo. Now, if you want nga yung mga scholarship announcements or just other kwento or mga quick posts natin regarding crypto, you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. So, naglalagay tayo ng mga updates dyan. Uh, and then, kung gusto nyo lang din makipagkwentuhan, gusto nyo mag-hi, pwede rin po. And I do my best to reply sa ating free time. So, just check out yung description box natin and pinned comment for our socials. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Sana na-enjoy nyo etong crypto portfolio reveal natin. At sana may napulot din kayo ng mga insights and um, strategies na baka makatulong din sa inyo or pwede nyong i-apply or i-tweak for your liking. Again, thank you so much for supporting me and our channel ng 2021 and I hope to see more of you guys here sa 2022 this year and sana mag-comment kayo sa comment section para maging friends din tayo. And as always, I hope to see you on our next videos. Bye!